So these two are the clips that I'm going to use. So first of all, add a null layer for each. And after that, you have to parent this uh, layer to this null and this layer to this null. And if you don't see this option, just click on one of these and you will be able to save. After that, get to the first clip and get to the first frame and hit S to open up the scale and put on a keyframe there and get to the last frame of the clip or the second last and increase this to around mm, 220. Now highlight these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Get to the graph editor and make sure you are using the value graph, not the speed graph and graph it like so. Now get to the first null layer and get to the middle and open up the scale by hitting S and put on a keyframe there and go to the last frame of the clip and decrease this to around 32 and highlight these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and this time make a graph which should look something like this. And you see it will look something like this. Now get to the second null layer, the test open up the scale, get to the first frame of the clip, put on a uh, put on a keyframe there and increase this to around 225 or I'll just put it to 220. Now get to the last frame of the clip and increase this to 100. I mean decrease that to 100 and press F9. I mean easy is the keyframes again and press it and then go to the graph editor and this time make a graph which should look something like this. Now uh, get to the first clip and add warp and by the way uh, this search panel is called FX console it's a free plugin so you can go and get it. Now after you added the warp change this to fisheye. Now get to the middle of the clip and Put a keyframe on bend and go to the last frame of the clip and decrease this to around minus 100 then hit you to see all the keyframes press uh, highlight these two keyframes press f9 to easy ease them and then go to the graph editor and graph it like so As you can see, uh, there is kind of motion tile over here. You can see these black bars at the end of the clip. So to fix that, we'll be adding a little twitch shake for that create adjustment layer first. And trim it like I'm doing. And keep it somewhere over here between these two clips, just one frame of the Adjustment layer should be on the first clip. Now at which and put the speed to like 25. Put this around between uh, 20 to 30. That will be good. Go to enable, enable the slide. You can turn this off for now. Put operator controls, open up this slide. We can uh, use this RGB split, like increase this around 22 and so. It's just optional, but yeah, you can use this. Now you can close this out. Now get to the first frame of the adjustment layer, put a keyframe of amount and hit you to see all the keyframes. Now get to the last frame of the adjustment layer and increase the amount, I mean decrease the amount to zero. Now highlight these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Again, open up the graph editor. Again, it's the value graph. Now, this time, graph it like so. A very sharp one. And yeah, you are done. I should be looking something like this. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this tutorial helps you out. And if it didn't, sorry for that because I'm really busy right now having exams and all the other stuff. Anyways, uh, I'll try to bring some good tutorials after my exams are done. I'll see you all in the next one.